Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at doing some imports. We're going to import a random number to complete our program. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, I recommend you go check those out real quick. But just to give you a high level understanding, if you prefer to just learn about random numbers and imports, uh, what our program here does is it asks the user to guess a number between 1 and 10. And right now, uh, the value of the correct answer is just 5. But what we'd like to do is generate a random number once the program starts and then make sure it's between 1 and 10 and also let the user keep playing the game over and over again until they guess the right answer. So that's what our while loop here is doing. Our while loop is telling the user to keep playing the game over and over again. And then we have guess a number between 1 and 10. We have uh, we're converting that to an integer, so we have it inside a try and accept block so that the user doesn't enter a number, then we catch that error without our program breaking. Or if the user does enter a number, but it's above 1 in 10, we tell them that that's an error. And we also tell them if the number is too high or too low. And then we finally say if it's correct. And then that breaks us out of our loop. That'll return true. So our method here returns a value of true and we break out of it. So how are we gonna how are we gonna use this random number with our import? Well, the first thing we need to do is import random. So this allows us to start using random numbers in our program. Now we can use random here. And random value between 1 10 1 through 10 will do and then the way we generate that random number is simple as random rand int between 1 and 10 I think it doesn't like how I wrote this variable there we go so here we've generated a random value between 1 and 10, and now we're going to use that in place of 5. So now when the user plays the game, we have a random value between 1 and 10, and they will keep, we don't know what that value is up front, but the game will keep going until the user guesses that correct value. And we can see that it's a random value. If we, if you want, you can print the value and check for yourself if the random value is is random between one and ten. Um, but yeah, I ran this code. I did that myself, and everything came out correct. So let's go ahead and run this program here and just play the game a little bit. Guess the number between one and ten. Let's try five. Number's too low. Seven. 7 is correct. We'll play again. Uh, let's guess 5. Number's too low, 7. Too low, 9. So the correct answer is 10. There we go. Uh, it's kind of fun. Let's do it one more time. 5. Too low, 10. Too high, 8. The answer will be 9. Perfect. So there we just created a simple little game going through some of the, the Python programming fundamentals of elif statements, try accepts, while loops, function calls, function return types, and then finally importing some of the standard library stuff from uh, Python. The import here is just a standard Python library, and then we use that, that variable to uh, round up our game. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.